So what you see here, the machine and all the others, we fabricated here in Jijanga. le vamos a recortar y vamos a poder generar productos como contenedores de alimentos, platos, tapas de café, en fin, la imaginación es el límite. And eventually we want to work towards creating material on a giant roll so that we can also uh, increase our production capacity but also uh, expand the range of products that the material can be applied to. So you put a few tiles and a few hexagon shelves on your wall and uh, you can point to your friends to your wall and say, hey, guess what, I have 1,800 chopsticks on my wall and you start a conversation about sustainability or about recycling. It's extremely durable, it lasts like any other sneaker for about two to three years, depending on how it is used. From our view, mycelium is a great solution to both the plastics waste problem we face as well as animal agriculture. Our plan in our startup company was to build a shoe so cool and so sustainable that we forced all of the other companies to pivot and become sustainable shoe brands.
there is no rocket science in what we are doing here. No. I can tell you that banana fiber is the next fiber. The next fiber in terms of sustainable uh, fibers for fashions, and not just for fashion, for everything. Cuando nosotros iniciamos, que fue hace más o menos unos 10 años, eh, la gente nos decía que estábamos locos, porque aquí en Colombia, eh, casualmente, la gente no era muy, muy amigable con el medio ambiente. Todo el mundo utilizaba lo más barato. There's no reason why there shouldn't be more sustainable stores. We should be the norm. This should be the way that fashion is going to make sure, to give ourselves the best chance of preserving the planet and reducing carbon emissions. The moss has two uh, functions in that it helps to decompose the body faster and rich in biodiversity and the other one is to give humans the experience of becoming part of the cycle of life. We started with making flower pots. That's evolved into making sneakers for Adidas and a whole bunch of other products such as sports grips and traction pads. At the moment, we are working with a lot of uh, architects, interior designers, um, who are keen to solve this larger problem of air pollution.
I am completely okay with anybody consuming cigarettes or smoking, but if they are unable to dispose their cigarette waste wisely, then that is a bit of a concern for me. The cost of the any bag really reflects the, the process of the making of it. The weaving process alone is very time consuming, which costs a lot of money, especially being here in New York City.